Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome to another JS Drop from This Dot. Have you heard of Sanity? It's the unified content platform that powers better digital experiences. Fortunately, Kapehe, developer relations at Sanity, will cover the basics of the platform and show you how to get your first Sanity project up and running. So without further ado, let's welcome Kapehe. Aloha, everyone. My name is Kapehe, and I do developer relations at Sanity.io. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of Sanity and how to get your first Sanity project up and running. Let's get right into it. So what is Sanity? Sanity.io is a platform for structured content. It comes with an open source editing environment called the Sanity Studio that you can customize with JavaScript and a real-time hosted data store. We'll use schemas to customize our studio to create the perfect content editing and creation experience for our projects. We'll use a couple of these in a bit. So Sanity is a platform where you can store all of your data for your websites. Say you have an e-commerce store, you have the photo, descriptions, prices, all stored within Sanity. And with any front end you desire, you can query for that content and have it displayed any, anywhere. So a few key things to remember when using Sanity. Sanity has the content link, a real-time data store for structured content and supporting APIs for assets, user management, and more. The Sanity Studio is a user interface for managing content. It's an open source React single page application that you can customize and host wherever you want. There are also SDKs, libraries, and tools that let you query for your content and integrate it with websites, services, and, and any other applications. So wherever you need your content, Sanity will host it for you and store it for you. So in this video, we'll get our Sanity project up and running using the CLI. We'll get our studio running locally, write our first schemas to customize our studio and play around with the real-time effect of the studio. You can either click on get started, but first we'll want to head over to our terminal and input the command npm create sanity at dev dash preview. So why at dev dash preview you say? Well, at the creation of this video, August of 2022, the Sanity Studio is currently in developer preview mode for V3. V3 is going to be officially launched for general availability towards the end of this year. But as it stands, you can start previewing and playing around with the V3 by using this command. Once launched, feel free to remove the at dev dash preview part and just run npm create sanity to start any sanity project. So it's going to ask us a couple questions. You will be prompted to log in here. If you haven't already logged in, I'm already logged in. So I'm going to click on create new project. Now let's name our project. This can be anything you want. I'll do this dot video because it's for this dot. Um, we'll do none, but you can click an organization if you'd like a sanity organization you have already set up. Will you, we will use the default data set. So yes. And it's creating that. That is the correct path. So we will hit enter and then you can, we can pick one of these and have like sample data and schemas already set up, but we're going to actually start with a clean project with no predefined schemas. We do not want to use TypeScript. We are going to use NPM for our package manager. And let's let this finish. So CD into the project, open it up in a code editor with, I use the shortcut code dash period and run NPM start. This is going to get it running at localhost 3333. And it's gonna pull up, we're gonna log in, log in with whatever login you used before when you made the project. And we have nothing because we chose clean project. Now, if you want to change this to light mode, you can change it up there in the upper right-hand corner, but let's get things customized. So we're going to add a couple of schemas in the docs page for schemas. We're going to do string, image, and block. Now we need to create a new file under schemas. Now we have the index.js. Let's create post.js under our schemas folder. Sorry. Here we'll add the blog title. So let's cr pretend like we're creating a blog. Um, and in our post.js, we're going to do export default and each one of these. So this is going to be our document. This will be for all of our blog posts. So we'll do post and each object needs a name, title, and type. The name, post, title, post, type, document. And that is a schema type. And then we're going to have a fields array of different objects. And this is where our schemas are going to show up. So name, title, type for every object, for every schema. Name is going to be the title of the object title is going to be the name that we see in the studio. So post title and type is string. And that is one of the schema types that we saw earlier. 
So always name title type. Just always remember that. All right, so we're going to save that and then we're going to head on over to the index.js and we have to import that file that we just made. If you've used Sanity before, this folder, this file might look a little different to you. A little less code, a little cleaner. So we're going to import post, use post, save that, and head on over to our locally running studio. And now we see post. I'll show it in light mode as well, but we'll stick in dark mode for most of this. But I'll just show light mode for a little bit. And there's no documents of this type. Let's create a new one. And we see our post title with a string that we can put in here. Perfect. Now let's go create a couple more schemas. We want an image and we want a place to put our blog post text. So we'll go back to our post.js and create a new object. Again, name, title, type. We're going to do name, oh, not title. You are going to do image for this one. Title will be blog post main image and type will be image. Now we're going to add an options and the options is going to be hotspot set to true. And I will show you what that hotspot looks like in just a minute. Then the next one we're going to create is again, name title type will be text. The title will be blog text. So the text for our blog post and the type will be array, not array, array. And then we're going to have type of, and this is where we're going to do the schema type, type of block. So we're going to have a block, an array of blocks, and you, we'll have block content. And this will have our whole rich text editor. And I'll show you what that looks like. And there we go. So we have our blog post main image and we have our blog text. So again, I'll just show you what it looks like in light mode real quick, but you can toggle between those two. Now, blog post image, we can drag or paste an image in there, or we can upload. So I'm just going to drag in the Sanity logo real quick, have that upload, and there we go. And then in blog text, blog text, we have this whole text editor that we can use, and we'll type in some content. That first block is, hi, my name is Cap. Second block, um, I am using Sanity for my structured content needs. Perfect. So that is our first blog post. Now, I told you about the hotspot and crop for the images. If we click on this little button right here, we will see the hotspot and crop. Now, the square or rectangle is the crop, and the circle is the hotspot. So as I move things around, we can crop it, we can hotspot it, and you can see the different ratios. And as I move the hotspot, whatever's in the hotspot is always going to be visible. But let's show the whole word. And then I can just exit out of there, and there we go. Perfect. So we have our first blog post. All right, so the next thing I want to do is deploy my uh, Sanity Studio. We used to do Sanity Deploy, but now we are going to run the command npm run deploy. Hit enter. It's going to ask us a couple questions. We need to pick a studio host name. I'm going to do this.video. So this is going to live at this.video.sanity.studio. And I can send this URL out to my teammates, and we can all work on this together. And if they have access, they can edit content. So I'm going to go to that URL. Let's open that. And here we go. So here's our whole studio now deployed. Um, and we just had to run the command npm run deploy. And our first blog post that we made earlier, there it is. All right. So I have them both side by side. On the left is the locally ran version. And on the right is the deployed version. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of the real time. So as I type on the local side, you see it show up on the deployed side. And if I edit the deployed side, it edits also on the local side. So that's the real time effect of the Sanity Studio. Now you see my little avatar right here. That is the presence API that's showing where your teammates are working. If we had more teammates in here, there'd be um, a couple avatars up at the top or however many are in here. Right now, it's just me in here, so nobody else is here. But that's where others would show up if others were working in the same studio as you. All right, and now if I wanted to hotspot and crop edit my image, you can see in real time as it adjusts on the deployed side. And that's not going to do much. I probably need to crop it. Yeah, there we go. So as you see me editing it, the real time effect is happening on the other side. And then there is the 
history of what's happened, created, published, edited, all there. Now let me start from a fresh post. So we're going to do post title and as you see, as I'm typing, it shows up on the other side. I'm going to drag in an image, same image as before, and I'm going to show you review changes. So review changes has that little yellow bar on the side every time a change was made. So if I wanted to revert the change for an individual thing, I could revert the change. If I hover over the change, you can see who made it, or I can revert all changes. So again, you can revert each change individually or revert all at once. And then you can see all the changes that have happened since the creation of it. And that is review changes in the Sanity Studio. Now, if you want to query for your content, there is Grok, G-R-O-Q, and this is a query language that the Sanity team made. Um, so you take it to any front end and you query for your content and you can use Grok. I really like this query cheat sheet that we have. So if you go in here, you can find a couple of Grok queries that you can start using. The asterisk gets all of your content within your content link, the asterisk, and then you have the filters, but there's no filters applied. Or you can take it a step further and filter by type. And there are tons of different queries in here that you can play around with, but definitely check out the query cheat sheet for Grok help. Now you can also query for your content using GraphQL if you prefer that. So here's the content, here's the docs on GraphQL, but definitely check out the docs for sanity information and taking your stuff further. Now the Sanity Exchange is a place where community members and Sanity team members are uploading content like guides, tools and plugins, starters. Um, you can learn more about the people in the community, but definitely check out the Sanity Exchange to look at other people's projects and learn from each other. Now the last place I wanna mention is the Sanity Slack community. You can find us at slack.sanity.io and there you can find multiple different channels help e-commerce, Gatsby, whatever it is that you need help with, there's a channel for it. So we do host a monthly meetup where you can see Sanity demos of projects created by community members and Sanity employees. And those happen at the end of every month. I did mention that we are launching V3 the studio this year. And at our meetups, we have talks on V3 and soon we'll have a meetup that is completely dedicated to V3. You'll see demos and hear from Sanity engineers who worked on it. So definitely come to our meetups if you want, if you want to learn more or just see demos. All right, thank you so much for watching. And like I said, B3 is coming this year. So we gotta get ready for it. We're gonna be doing meetups. We're going to be having talks that are done on it, demos of what to expect and what new features you can expect with the new studio. Now, if you already have Sanity projects, we highly recommend you make the transfer and upgrade to V3. If you don't have Sanity projects, we recommend starting with V3. So that command that I did earlier, the at dev preview, use that for now. Eventually it will just be NPM create sanity, but while we're in developer preview, be using that command. All right. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Twitter at Kapehe underscore. Okay. You can find sanity on Twitter at sanity underscore underscore IO. And you can find me and the rest of the sanity team at slack.sanity.io in our Slack community. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you around. Mahalo everyone.